morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse from Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And it says this, And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. The little heading that I've given this morning is this, The only remedy is Jesus. The only remedy is Jesus. How wonderful it is to be able to tell people that you have a friend who can meet all their needs. That's good news, isn't it, in the day in which we live. We have a friend and his name is Jesus. He's our saviour and our friend and he can meet every need. The only hope for this world, friends, the only hope for you who are listening to me this morning is Christ. Christ is the answer for you today. We used to sing an old chorus, Christ is the answer to our every need. And that old chorus is still true today and it always will be true. You see, religion is not the remedy. You can try religion and religion will f uh, fail. Religion is not the remedy. Money is not the remedy. Education is not the remedy. Medical science is not the remedy. Psychiatry is not the remedy. Rehab centers is not the remedy. For the only remedy for our sin, friends, is found in a person. And it's in the person of Jesus Christ himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the angel declared in our text, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Why? For he shall save his people from their sins. And I'm glad to be able to say this morning that Jesus has saved me, and he has saved me from my sin. You see, there are thousands of people, as they entered this new year, who are trying to turn over a new leaf. They look back, their lives are in a bit of a mess, things are not quite right, they want to try and put their lives right, and they've decided they want to turn over a new leaf. But the fact of the matter is, friends, it's not a new leaf that they need, but a new life that they need. And that life can only be found in Jesus. It can only be In Romans chapter 12, Paul talks about the renewing of the mind. He also said, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. You see, the truth is either you conform or you transform. If you're going to change your world, you have got to change your mind. The prodigal had to change his mind, for we're told when he came to himself, when he realized the, the mess that he was in, the mess that he had allowed himself to, to fall into. He said, how many of my father's house have bread enough and to spare? He then went to his, in his mind's direction. He said, I need to go up to the father. I need to go to my father. I need to go towards home. And it all starts in your mind, friends. The battleground is your mind. Satan wants to rule in your mind, but Christ is the one who needs to reign and rule in your heart and in your mind. And if you allow him to that, to allow him to do that, friends, you won't be turning over a new leaf, but he will give you a new life. The Bible says you will become a new creature in Christ. All things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. The battlefield, the mind, Satan will try and distress you and bring you down and depress you and all the rest of it. But Christ will always lift up and exalt you, his people. You see, there is much fear about in this world today. Oh, don't let fear take the place of your faith. When you, when you start to look and feel fearful, you'll notice that your faith will become weak and your faith will leave you go and you will feel exhausted. But when you keep your faith and, faith and keep your focus on Christ, you'll be strong in the Lord. And the joy of the Lord indeed will be your strength. And if you resist, friends, the blood of Christ, if you resist what God offers to cleanse you from your sin, you will walk past Calvary and you will be lost for all eternity. You see, his name was called Jesus so that he would save his people from their sins, not in their sins, from their sins. Oh, what a saviour we serve. I read of a gentleman called Sigmund Freud. And he said this, the goal of life is death. What a miserable person. What a miserable outlook. The goal of life is death. I want to tell you this morning, friends, 
the goal of life is life in Christ. Life in Christ. The goal of life is finding Jesus offers life and he offers life more abundantly. And we read of it in John chapter 10 and we experience it in Christ Jesus alone. And he who hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the, uh, the end. The good work in you, we will perfect it, friends, in the day of Jesus Christ. Be ready, friends, for Jesus is coming soon. And if you want to be ready, your sins need to be dealt with, and they need to be dealt with now. And the only way they can be dealt with is in and through the person of Jesus Christ. God bless you this morning. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning. God bless you.